Hi everyone, this is Scott Davenport, and in this on one short clip, I want to show you how some basic masking can really make the subject of your photo pop and stand out. I had this photo of this uh, wooden gate in uh, one of the nice gardens in Tokyo, Japan, and it was an overcast day, so I want to add a little bit of mood to it, but I want to make sure this gate really pops out. So I'm going to start with, uh, with like mood. I'm going to mute this photo down some with a black and white filter, hit the auto button to let it do the color mix for me. And I don't want to have any film grain, so we'll remove the film grain. I don't want a black and white photo, I just want kind of the, the muted mood. So as I'm adjusting the slider here, I'm watching the preview screen, and somewhere in the mid-30s is looking pretty nice. It's taking the uh, kind of the, the, the edge off some of the, the harsher color there and making this a more moody shot. Next again for the scene overall, just a bit of contrast. We'll add that. And uh, looking at that, the natural setting looks nice. I'm going to increase the shadows just slightly so that uh, the areas under the trees aren't completely lost in shadow. Now I want to add more contrast and uh, bring out the textures in this wood. So I'll add a second dynamic contrast filter. Now this is over the top. This is too much for the scene overall, but as I'm adjusting these sliders, what I'm watching is the gate itself. That's really what I'm only paying attention to, and I really want to make that stand out. That looks pretty good for the gate. Now again, for the scene overall, it's terrible. So let's fix that. We're going to invert the mask. And so now you see this is a black mask here. And what that means is this dynamic contrast filter is applied nowhere. I have my brush selected. It's in paint in mode. And I can adjust my feather with my shift bracket keys, the size of my brush. And I'm going to hit Command or Control R. And that turns on the perfect brush. And now I can just sweep this contrast into the gate itself and really bring out the wood tones that are there. All right, that looks pretty good. Let me press the O key to view that mask. Pretty close. A couple of other spots that the perfect brush prevented me from brushing there. I'd rather it be a little more restrictive than uh, too loose, and that's good. This doesn't have to be perfect either. This is just to really make this, this uh, pop out here. So that's looking great. Now I want to use this mask again, because uh, I also want to add a little more ambiance to the scene with a glow. So I'm going to copy this mask. And now for the background, we'll add a glow filter and start inching the amount up. Now while I'm inching this amount up, I'm watching the background. This is you know where I want to have the trees kind of become a little softer and uh, maybe a little dreamier. So I like that glow look, and now I'm gonna start backing off the opacity. And so it's gonna become a little more, uh, a little softer. And I could also, let's uh, take our mask here that we made for the gate, We'll paste it down. Now this is applying to the gate itself, right? That's what we painted in. I can invert that. And now I have that applying to just the trees. So I'm leveraging the work that I did previously. So I'm getting a nice separation of my subject and my background. And the last thing will be adding a vignette. I'm gonna add a vignette and just dial in some settings. I like to bring my feather all the way down, bring the brightness down some, and bring it down very far. I can see the edge of where that mask is. And let's open up the size a little bit. I'll check the roundness. I'm really kind of just trying to catch the, the corners on either side here. That's looking pretty good. Now I can increase my feather all the way back up. The last bit, I want to also grab a masking bug and drop it right around the center. And so what that's doing is removing the vignette from the upper part of the scene. So it's shading and darkening these lower corners, but it's leaving the upper part nice and bright. It's making my eyes go upward, and that's exactly how I felt when I was standing beneath this, this towering gate, you know, just looking up to the heavens to see how everything uh, you know, unfolded before me. All right, let's do a quick recap here. So I'll turn off all these filters. Started by adding black and white at a low opacity, just to give a little bit of a, a muted feel. Added contrast to the scene overall. Specifically added more contrast to the gate to make it jump out. Leverage that mask, creating a glow for the background, and finally adding a vignette. So before and after. My name is Scott Davenport, and I hope you've enjoyed this on one short clip.